Hi guys. So today we're starting something completely new. It's a new project. I got an idea for it. I started doing it and then I was like, okay, if I'm going to put all this work into it, I might as well just share it so that people who kind of would like to do the same thing could follow along and do the same thing with me. Um, I have not seen anywhere on YouTube where anybody has done anything like this. Um, kind of similar where they say like I let AI pick my clothes to wear for the week or like things like that. But I am taking it like five billion steps further and I'm really excited to dive in with you guys today. Okay, so this big plan started when we kind of like discovered ChatGBT. Me and my husband together, we'd heard about it, people were using it and we hadn't really started using it or like tried it out, didn't really know exactly what it did, just kind of had heard about it. We started talking to some friends and they said, oh, we created the scavenger hunt. It was like based on Lord of the Rings and we had to do these certain things. So we just like plugged it all in and it worked and it worked really well. And anyway, so I was like kind of curious, okay, well, what more can it do? And so I started trying all of these things with it. And at one point I decided, okay, I suck at styling myself. I am really bad at getting dressed. Most of the time I'm like in some leggings and a shirt and I just stay like that the whole day. I'd love to dress cute. I don't know how to do it. I don't know where to find the right clothes. I need help. And so I went to chat GBT to do it. Okay, so if you ask my husband, he is like pretty stylish. He's a pretty stylish person. He's an attorney, and so he has to kind of dress up most days. So he'll leave the house. He looks nice. And most of the time, he'll come home to me, like, either still in my nightgown and just, like, doing what needs to get done around the house or in workout clothes because I decided to work out that day or, like, I thought I was going to and then I never actually got to it. And so rarely will you find me, like, actually dressed and looking nice. And I feel like a lot of that is because I have this idea of what I want my style to be in my head, but I've never been able to execute it correctly or like in a way that makes me happy. And there's also some amount of like, I really want to look cute, but I have three toddlers. And so it can get messy and I get so nervous about those things getting dirty um, or like when I'm cooking, getting oil on them and then being ruined. And I just kind of decided, you know what? People used to dress like this all the time where they had like three dresses and they just learned how to clean things out of them and they wore aprons and I just need to get over it and try and try to be cute and get over myself a little bit. So that's it. I'm getting over myself and we are going to try this. So the first thing that I want to do is I am going to take you to my closet, which I have cleaned out recently with things that I'm just like, okay, that's not my style. I will probably never wear it or I shouldn't be wearing it because... I don't look good in that and um, it's just not, it doesn't fit with anything else that I'm going to have in my wardrobe. So let's hop on back to my closet and I'll show you guys what I have. So hi, this is my closet. My husband's stuff is back here. It's really stylish. It looks a little better than my stuff. Most of my clothing, I would say, is thrifted. I don't like shopping. When we go shopping, my husband's always like, you know, you buy this, so it looks super cute. And I just, I hate trying things on. I hate, I hate shopping. I'm not a shopper. I don't love it. And so usually we'll go like to the thrift store and I'll just try on 5 billion things and take home what I love that day. And so most of what I have in my closet is from a thrift store. I have like some cardigans here. I have a white button out. I have a lot of peasant tops, which I like. I tend to go towards peasant tops, obviously. Could have worn right now. Um, I also have some button ups that I like to wear with um, my overalls. I have this. This was thrifted, but I know the store that it's from, Simple Retro. And I actually like a lot of things they have. Something that I notice a lot when I'm looking through clothing is just like details. So like, I don't know, I'm trying to get up closer. If you can see the buttons, they like look like little roses. And I just love details like that. I feel like it adds so much to an outfit or to a part of an outfit. I really, really like sweaters. I like all of the sweaters I have. This one's more sporty. My husband told me to get rid of it, but I like it too much. So I kept it. I love skirts, but I don't tend to have skirts that I love wearing. So I really like this one. This was a thrifted one. 
Um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's linen. And I really like the feel and the texture and the billowiness. Sorry, I had to clean my OCD a little bit. I am not opposed to getting like flowy, billowy chiffon kind of skirts. It kind of it's like has an ethereal quality to it, which I kind of like. I don't know. I should live in an elvish land or something. That's kind of where I... I'm weird. Anyway, this is from Ivy City Co. And I have worn this for two occasions where we did pictures. I've worn it to church a couple times, but sometimes it feels like just so over the top. But I love it so much. It's one of my favorite dresses. And it's just gorgeous. And I, I like that style. So I have this dress. I don't love it. Uh, but my husband loves the color and says that it really brings out my eyes. I can't see that. I guess I could look in a mirror and see. But like he really notices that and so he loves it. So one of my goals um, over time is to create a dress using this color that is more in my style that I like better so he can still appreciate that it brings up my eyes, but I don't have to wear something that's not really my style. I got some dresses like this from a shock thief where you can like put in your measurements and you can change the sleeves, you can change the length of the dress. And I really like doing that. I have uh, two dresses from there. I think I had bought three, but I got rid of one of them because I didn't really like how it fit when it got to me. But um, the two dresses I have, I like pretty well. And this is probably my favorite one. But again, it's like just the details, all of the uh, embroidery on the sleeve. And it just, I really love it. Hey, this is the second one from a Shakti. Long, kind of a pioneerish, which is not necessarily my style. Um, but I did find somewhere where I was kind of putting in the types of things I liked and it called it prairie chic. So maybe that would kind of fit into that. I found this dress at uh, a thrift shop and it just fit me so perfectly. Like where the waistline hit, it really thinned out my waist. And at the time I was having trouble losing weight and I was just really frustrated with everything I was wearing and it was very flattering. And I love the color and the style. And it's just that thing again, where you just have these details like the lace and the buttons. They're just there's a lot of attention to detail, and I just love that. Lastly, so I, I play the harp, and when you play the harp at locations and for events, you have to have, like, long, flowy skirts because you play pedals at the bottom. And if you don't have long, flowy skirts, then people can, like, look up your skirt, or I guess you could wear pants. But I tend to wear skirts, and it tends to be more in the style of playing a harp. So, I have a collection of long skirts that I really love, but they tend to only be for harp playing. But I am not against using them more often if I have a good reason to and if I can make it work really well with a style that I'm going for. So, I have them. Don't know if I'll use them. Let's see. Lastly, I have my overalls. I have one pair of overalls I'd like more. Um, if I tend to stay in this style and it would just make it easier to go out and do yard work and I could still feel a little bit cute, but also like not be so worried about getting something dirty because I don't want to get all my dresses dirty. I prefer dresses. That would make me sad. Okay, so I'm behind the camera now and I just want to show you some of my shoes that I have. I have these Rothies. I have another pair that are a different color um, and that they're kind of a different style, but I, I love them. They don't give me blisters. I always have problems with shoes giving me blisters, and so I am very careful about that. I found these when I was thrifting them. I love them. The only problem is that the heels don't have, like, the rubber on them anymore. You could see that. And so they just, I mean, I've literally got them stuck in the carpet at church, and I felt like Cinderella, my shoe falling off, and me not being able to grab it, and it was just kind of a mess. So I love wearing them. They're beautiful. I love that style. It's very antique looking, it's very vintage, and it's just, they're gorgeous. Um, I love myself a good pair of sandals. And I have a couple styles of boots that I like. I have these. I've gotten, uh, I've gotten blisters in them. I hope I can find a way to wear them because I really like them. And I also, I also have these that I like. I used to have some like combat boots that had some lace, but um, they were done. Now, other than that, I have like a few high heels 
and um, a few sandals that I like will wear to church and stuff, but they're not really my style. And then I have some tennis shoes downstairs, but they're dirty and we don't have to worry about that. I'm getting so close to the camera. I'm trying to like, where's the, okay. I have stuff that I usually will wear for working out, like t-shirts and that kind of thing. And then I have some blouses, but not a ton because I cleaned most of them out recently. And mostly it's like a color thing, a style thing. Um, I have had my weight like fluctuate a lot since I've had kids. And I'd like to have more kids, so it will probably fluctuate more. But um, I'm kind of finding like a median zone where I can find myself at. And so I'm trying to pick clothes that are kind of in that zone so that whether I gain a few pounds or lose a few pounds, I'll still be comfortable in my clothes. So here I have just a few like peasant tops again and blouses and oh, what is that that's a sweater top I have another sweater top I actually have a lot of sweater tops so those are kind of the most common like tight sweater tops that's a short sleeve one pants I have a pair of shorts I have these pants that are kind of I don't know how you would describe them I think they're linen but I um found them in France and they just, they kind of fit into the style way better than a lot of other things that I've had. And jeans. I have more jeans, but they're in the wash. And I don't love jeans. I don't hate them, but I don't want them to be a staple. Okay, thank you, Alina, from the closet. So the one thing I didn't cover was accessories. And there's really no need to because I don't accessorize because I've never really known how to. And it just stresses me out. So I have some jewelry not enough to make a huge difference. I pretty much wear like something very simple like a silver chain or what else do I wear? Usually just like stud earrings. I don't think I'm even wearing any today. Yeah, I'm not. But like I'll put them in and then I just leave them in for forever because I don't want to think about it. And I wear my wedding ring. And other than that, that's I mean, that's just all I wear. I'm kind of boring. And so I'm going to need some help with that too. And I will be asking AI for help. Okay, so typically I'm pretty boring. I just want to wear something that's simple that I don't have to think a lot about. Um, I don't accessorize and usually I'm just trying to be comfortable because I have a lot of things going on. I have three kids, I'm homeschooling, and I'm just I'm just busy. And so I don't want to have to think about it a lot. And I hate shopping. So that's where I'm at. That's the starting point. And I want AI to get me somewhere else. So let's talk about where I want AI to get me to. I am going to start by showing you some of my favorite creators that I have either seen on YouTube or seen on Instagram where I was just like, oh, I like that. I wish I dressed like that more often. I think that is adorable and I want to be cuter. So I should follow this person and just try to soak up all of their style abilities. So one of my first like favorite influencers, if you would call her that, is uh, her 86 meters square. She just has the loveliest clothes and she recently did a video on her wardrobe and just where she gets her clothes from and what she has in her wardrobe. I just love that she talked about sustainable material and natural materials. So like cotton and linen and wool, that kind of thing. And so I'm kind of trying to take that from her style and use it in mine. She loves dresses. I think she owned like two pairs of pants or something when she was going through her wardrobe. I don't know that I only want to own two pairs of pants, but I really like skirts and I really like dresses and I want to look more feminine and more, I don't know if girly is the right word, but just prettier. The second person that I have been thinking of is on YouTube, uh, Darling Desi. I think that's what she calls herself. Um, her style, what I love about her style is that she's so focused on the season and she is not afraid to really lean into it. And I love that. Like I have tried to do that in my life mostly because of her videos, but she does a lot of things where it's like autumn. And so she'll make herself a, a cup of hot cocoa or you know, just do things that are kind of part of the season. And I want to do that in my life because I have kids and I only get so many summers with each of them and so many springs with each of them. 
And I really want my kids to have memories of each season and to remember that we were very um, particular about what we did and very purposeful about what we did. And so I kind of want to do the same thing with my clothing. I want to be able to say, okay, it is autumn and I'm getting in the mood and I'm going to style myself like so. And I kind of want to draw inspiration from that because I just love how she's always like, she has her kind of cottagecore vibe or her, uh, she does dark academia and light academia. I think she does both, but she'll kind of pull from different styles and then use it within the um, season that she's wearing it in. And I just really love that. I think that's a fantastic way to um, accessorize yourself too. Not just the clothing that you're wearing, but you can accessorize yourself with that too. And I want to kind of pull that in. So the third person that I have been thinking of is somebody new that I actually just came across out of nowhere. And she is a clothes horse. I have to check that. Yes, a clothes horse. I actually don't really know that much about her. I was trying to look up what my style was that I liked, you know, like, based on these brands what is this style and um her page came up and i was just like yeah like everything she's wearing and i just started like jumping page after page after page after page to like see her outfits see her style and try to find out where she was getting her clothes from so a lot of the stuff that i've started to find came from her website where she said okay i got this from this brand and this from this Etsy shop. And I'm kind of trying to pull from those things and get new items. But all of that being said, there is a huge twist on this beyond just making a new wardrobe and starting fresh and trying to get a good style for especially the autumn season that we're going into. My big goal is to sew or make or crochet or whatever around half of the clothing items that I'm going to have, possibly more. I want to personalize my clothing items as much to myself as I can. And so as I create this wardrobe with AI, I'm going to uh, try to do it all myself. Not all, most, most of it, some of it, half of it, I don't know something. So what I'm going to do, I'm on my computer. I might be looking down a little bit, but I am going to hop into ChatGPT and pull up exactly what I told ChatGPT that I wanted out of my fashion and out of my style and out of my wardrobe. And I am going to show you what I input so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. Okay. So this is the first thing I wrote. I'm going to read it, but I will also, yeah, I'm just going to snapshot it right now so that you guys can use it. Ready? And there you go. Now it's on the screen. Okay. So it says, help me create a style guide for my wardrobe. I would like to dress in a cottage core aesthetic. I also like Victorian era clothing. I love brands like Magic Linen, Reventaria, Miss Patina, Little Women Atelier, Noor and the Merchant, Bedra, Voria, Celtic Fusion, Celtic, 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 Celtic Fusion, and Simple Retro. I like milkmaid dresses, pinafores, peasant blouses, overalls, leather boots, cute flats, sweaters, skirts, and Bermuda shorts. Could you create for me an autumn capsule wardrobe? Please include color ideas, fabric print ideas, accessories, shoes, and hairstyles that I can pair with the style. Be specific with the style of the items and give example outfits out of the items. Also, I would like to include some items that are a bit whimsical and fantasy-like or fairy tale like I want to look feminine and beautiful. So that's what I plugged in. Now, I am going to save what AI gave me until my next video where I really dive into my autumn wardrobe, which I am like, we're really excited about because I finally finished putting together my plan. But the other thing that I wanted to say is when AI punched out the items of clothing that I was going to be making and I was going to be wearing, it also gave me print ideas as well as color ideas for each of the items. And so I took that further 
and really dived into, okay, now use hex color codes to create um, a good color palette for me. And I kind of regenerated and regenerated that until I got to colors where I was like, this is going to work with my skin tone. It's going to look good together. And it's just going to look matchy matchy and cute. Order the seasons. This is my game plan. The first season we're going to do is autumn and then we'll do winter and then we'll do spring and we'll do summer. And I'm going to try to make everything that I need to make within those seasons. So I may be giving myself a little bit too much work to do, but I'm going to try to do it anyway because I'm excited and I don't want to fall behind and then I have to like leap around doing different seasons. I don't want to have to do that. I just want to go right in order because I have OCD or something. So that's my plan for that. The last thing that I wanted to do is go through a bunch of brands that are kind of inspiring me as I go through this process. And I always get so frustrated when people talk about their style, but then don't show me where they get their style because a lot of times I'm like wow your style's so cute where do you shop I need to know and they're like I just kind of shop everywhere just wherever inspire like inspiration hits me and I am just not okay with that you have to have some specific brands that you just always go back to because you love them and so I want to show you the ones that I've been looking at that I have been really impressed by that I love that just fit into my style and I'm going to try to show it on the screen. All right, guys, it's up on the screen. So here we are. First of all, this is like the top dog of brands that I want to emulate because I sent this to my husband. First of all, I looked through it and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Everything in here. I just love it. And then I sent it to my husband and he was like, I'm going to buy you like five things off of here, like right now. And I was like, well, you can't do that because it's expensive. But Honestly, like the style is just gorgeous. So I just want to do a quick look through so you guys can kind of get an idea of where I'm coming from and how I want to look and just how gorgeous it is. It's so pretty. So she has different um, ooh, collections. And the first one, Bloom in the Moonshine. We're just going to like glance through it. I love like if I had pants like this, I wouldn't mind wearing pants so much. I feel like pants are so boring. But these are gorgeous. The skirt is gorgeous. It's fun. It's whimsical. The dress, oh my gosh, anything corseted, just fine. And it's just, it's flowy. It's cute. It's very feminine. I love everything about this. When I was talking to my husband, he was saying, you know, this is very, like, he's French, so, you know, he knows more about this than I would know. But he said this is very, like, retro European. Uh, that's what he would consider it. Um, because I look at like retro here and it's very different than this. Um, and I just, I love this and I kind of wish I had been born in Europe just for the style aspect, but it's fine. Um, this is the next collection. Same thing. You just, um, and something I do want to say, especially about this is just that you can see in each piece of clothing, just the level of detail, like the lace in this top. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. And there was something, I don't remember which one that was, but like this one, that just the little details around the edge of the clothing and on the sleeves, you can kind of see how it looks there. Um, the bow, the buttons, the belt, there's just so much detail in every piece that they put up here. And I just love it. I think it's so gorgeous. I really appreciate all of the effort that goes into that. This blouse is so cute. Skirt is so cute. Oh, I just can't handle it. It's so gorgeous. And um, so obviously one of the dresses I will be buying off here for sure is this one. And we'll get more into why later, but A, it's my namesake. And so that's just kind of decided. And uh, B, there's something else and you can wait for the next video for that one. So this is one of my favorite shops. Let's jump to another one. Okay, this is Little Women Atelier, and I am not necessarily saying that I want to wear these clothes myself. They are very old-fashioned, but I do love the style. I love the poofy sleeves. I love the buttons down the front. I love the skirts. I love the aprons. Oh my gosh, the aprons. Like, I just, I want to live on a farm in the middle of nowhere so that I can wear these aprons and not feel weird about it. It would feel a little weird in the middle of the Arizona desert. It's fine. 
have fun. I'll get there someday. But yeah, if you just look at the dresses, they're very plain. I think that they're all linen. I'm pretty sure they're all linen. I just love it. I think there's so much personality in these pieces. And I wish that we had more personality in the clothes. And, you know, I guess everything has personality to a degree. But more feminine personality I'd like to see in the clothes that we have these days. This long sleeve dress is just gorgeous. Like, I just love, I would wear that. I would wear that and I wouldn't even feel guilty about it. I wouldn't feel weird. I might feel weird, but it's fine. Okay, I mentioned this shop earlier. I feel like they changed the style of it in just like one day, but not the style of the clothes, the website. And so I'm kind of lost, but fear not. We will figure it out together. Um, these are a little bit more of an American retro style that I'm not like totally into for everything, but there are a lot of good pieces here that, I just love. I obviously already own one of their pieces of clothing. So let's look at the dresses really quick. And yeah, it's like, oh, the first one, this white one here. Sorry, not the first one, the second one. But like the white one here is lovely. The blue one here is lovely. The white one. I mean, they're just pretty. I love dresses. I love dresses. I should wear them more often. But there's just so many pretty options that you can get your hands on. And these are definitely at a cheaper price point. I do like like this one, for instance, with that lovely floral vibe going on there. Love floral prints. I like pastels. Probably not the best thing for me because I'm so whitewashed as it is. I mean, I'm just a ghost. Um, I used to dance and I would dance on stage and my teachers would get so mad if I didn't put on enough makeup because I would just look like I had no face on stage. And so I've lived with that my whole life and everybody always wants to put me in jewel tone clothing, but I love pastels and it's just, it's going to be a learning curve for me. Here's another shop that I'm loving right now. Uh, don't mind the extra leg being thrown into the veneer right now. Um, but this is Linda Naive and I really like a lot of their items. It's like, look at these dresses. They're so gorgeous. They're just there's something about just looking like you're coming out of a fairy tale that I love and that I always want to strive to be. I want to be feminine. I want to feel like I'm in a fairy tale. It's really hard to do when you live in the middle of a desert, but I just want to feel that way. And my clothing would be a very good first start. But yes, like the embroidery used, lace that's used, just the attention to detail on all of the materials and mostly, I, no, it's not all linen, but a lot of it is linen. But I know for a fact they have a wool skirt because I was trying my best to find a wool skirt that would kind of work with what I think is coming up in autumn, but I didn't want to get one of theirs. Well, I do want to get one of theirs because I love all of their skirts, but I really wanted to make one and I was trying to base it off of one of the ones they had and I couldn't find a pattern but I did find a pattern after a long time of searching. So, yes, I know they have more than just linen. They also have some wool stuff. They probably have more than that. The other thing is, is capes and coats. And I live in the desert, so I don't really need a lot of these things. But I would love to have an excuse to wear them. So my husband's just going to have to take me to France because I have to be able to wear them at some point. They're just so cool. And it's colder there than it is here. In the north. Anyway, okay, so this is Varia. I think that's how you say it. Sisters from Ancient Lands. And I, there are some things about the styles on here that I'm not like totally into, but I do just love the natural look that these are all old styles, that they are using natural materials, that you look like you should be in nature wearing them. I love that. I think it's so classy and so lovely. And also they have some of these like uh, cotton tops, the petticoats, and I just kind of love that. I don't know if I would ever have a need for it, but it's just kind of a cool little detail that you could throw in. I think that it would be more meaningful if you live somewhere that was colder, like in New England area or in Europe. Europe? Europe? I live in the middle of the butt middle of Arizona where it's just hot all the time and you have no need for extra layers even in the winter it's like you don't even always need a jacket so I don't know that it would be necessarily something I would need to do but I just love 
the idea of it. Okay, and last but not least, I'm just going to throw in that I also found a um, an accessory website that I've really been loving stuff off of. Um, usually, I'll just go to Etsy because there are so many options. And if I'm looking for a very specific stone or a very specific shape or like just something to go specifically with what I want, it's really easy to do a search and like the best of the best will pop up. Um, although sometimes I feel like I'm missing something that's, you know, five pages back and I just didn't get to it. But these are just lovely pieces. This is a uh, Lee Renee. Lee Renee. Yeah, that's what it's called. And it just has some like lovely, gorgeous gold, usually gold. You can get silver too. But I, I really like the old styles of um, just simplicity in the accessories. I mean, as you can tell, I'm just wearing like a silver band. My husband got this at a thrift shop for like $15 and I just haven't stopped wearing it because it's so simple. It's so petite. It's so out of the way. And I just love that. And you can get that with all of these pieces because they have little things on them, but they are petite and they're good quality. And I kind of, oh, this is something that we can talk about now. So I'm just going to pop out of here for a second. We can talk about it. So something that I'm kind of trying to avoid doing all of this, this is part of the reason I'm doing this, is I really want to avoid fast fashion. And I know a lot of people are doing it because there are people that are taking advantage of in other countries that are making the garments and that there's just like not the most ethical practices at any given business for the fast fashion. And all of those things are valiant endeavors to try to stop that happening. But I know that there's probably not much any one individual can do that can make a big difference in that. Like even if I am buying just cloth, somebody was probably taken advantage of over the time of me buying that cloth or that cloth being made. And so I know that that's not going to make a huge difference in that, but I, I'm not afraid of doing my part to the best of my ability. Um, but more than that, I think that we have become a consumerist people that's so obsessed with buying the next thing that we don't really worry about quality. And so, and I have done this for so long where I go out and I buy a bunch of clothes and I wear like three pieces of the clothing that I bought and love those three pieces and the other stuff after a while, it's like, eh, well, I didn't really like it and I just toss it. And I don't really want to do that anymore because it just makes me sad that so much material just goes to waste. And I would rather somebody else be able to wear those things who loves them than me keeping it in my closet for forever and taking up more space and it just not being something that I love. And so what I would really like to be able to do is buy more expensive items that are going to last that are very high quality and take good care of them or also make them. So that's the other thing that I'm trying to do. Okay, so I just wanted to thank everybody for getting to the end of this video. If you got to this point, wow, you are amazing. And I'm so thankful for you. And if you would like to follow me on this journey in making these new items of clothing and in letting AI decide my wardrobe, um, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I think you're supposed to click the bell or something. If you could like or comment below, I would just love to hear your thoughts on my style and what you think would go great with the style. How would you describe my style? I don't even really know. Um, and so I would just like to hear from you guys and kind of make this fun for all of us and get us all involved. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about my autumn wardrobe and what it's going to look like.